I'm a former visa officer and how do you prove in your visa interview that you don't have immigrant intent? Now this is a very interesting question because how do you prove something that doesn't exist, right? It's actually very difficult. You can't prove that you don't have this intention. That intention only exists within your own mind. So how do you prove it? Well, what you can do is you can show that you do have the intent to do something else. If you can show the visa officer that you intend to leave the US by having plans for what you're going to do when you leave, when you go back to your home country, that's how you prove that you don't have the intent to stay in the US, but rather you have the intent to leave after your stay in the US and go back to your home country. This applies to visa types like the tourist visa, B1, B2, or the F1 visa for students, or the J1 for cultural exchanges. Any visa that has the 214B requirement, this is going to be the way that you prove that you do not have that immigrant intent, okay? Now that 214B requirement, that's the form that you'll get. If you get your visa refused, you'll see that they quote this regulation from the Foreign Affairs Manual that says that you've been refused 214B. What does that mean? that you have not been able to demonstrate ties to your home country. Now, what are ties to your home country? Anything that draws you back home. Anything that's going to take you from the United States back to your home country, okay? Many of my clients would say, well, what do you mean? Of course I have ties. My, my, my whole family, my whole life is, is back in my home country. Obviously for you, for me, this is quite obvious. But for the visa officer, they're facing hundreds of applicants per day and some of those applicants, a certain number of them, do intend to get to the US, not return to their home country, and violate the terms of their visa. So you're facing someone who's very suspicious, who's not going to just give you the benefit of the doubt and assume that you're going to return home. They're assuming that you might be one of these fraudulent applicants who's lying to them, who doesn't intend to go back to your home country. So know what your plan is, know how you're going to talk about your plan, know what details of your plan are actually going to convince the visa officer that it's real, that it's legit, and it's gonna take you back home. A plan like that is gonna be a detailed plan. It's not going to be a plan where you just say, oh, I plan to go home and, uh, and improve my country's economy. This is great. This is a very noble, high-minded plan, but it, it does not do anything to convince the visa officer that you've got concrete steps that you're going to take that are going to take you back home. So your plan needs to be concrete, it needs to be specific, it needs to be tailored to you, okay? And also when you tell the visa officer about it, you need to tell them in an open way, in a conversational way, with details, to let them know that this is real, that it's fleshed out, okay? That's how you're gonna get your visa issued.